Do you want to be romantic with your boyfriend? But not able to decide how to? Romance is not overrated. In fact, romance is a key ingredient to any successful relationship. This doesn't mean that taking a moonlit stroll or having a candlelit dinner with your boyfriend is the only way to keep your relationship going, it does mean that you have to figure out what romance means to both of you as a couple and to work hard to give each other love and affection. If you want to know how to be romantic with your boyfriend, just follow these steps. Write I love you in hidden places. Your boyfriend would expect you to write I love you at the end of a letter or a text message, but he won't expect to see it written in the steam after his shower, in the hot sauce on his morning omelette, or on a blank page of his notebook that he sees when he's about to take notes for class. Finding a creative and unique place to write I love you will make him think even more fondly of you when you're not there, and will make him feel more romantic because you've made a special effort to let him know that you care. Make him a mixed CD. This can be a CD that reminds him of your songs or one that really takes his musical tastes into account and is a mix of things you actually think he likes. Don't recommend your favorite bands if you know they aren't his thing, but if you really know what he would like, then make him a mixed CD and pop it into his car's CD player when he's not looking. When he turns on the car, he'll get a pleasant surprise. Make a scrapbook. Put together a scrapbook of all of your most meaningful memories. Put together photos of you together, tickets from your favorite concert, a menu from the restaurant where you first said I love you, or notes that you wrote each other throughout the course of your relationship. This can make a great anniversary or birthday gift, or you can give him the book just because. Celebrate Valentine's Day early, or late. Who says Valentine's Day is only for February 14th? If you're both busy that day, or if you just want to be romantic on a random Wednesday, then you should plan in celebrating Valentine's Day on whatever day works for you too, you can use this time to shower each other with love and affection, dress up, and eat something delicious. Act like a little kid. Little kids have an infinitive amount of wonder at the state of the world, along with a healthy dose of hope and optimism. So, take a day to just act like a kid with your boyfriend, and see how much your love for each other and the world grows when you do the silly things you love to do as a kid. You too can go to a carnival, make balloon animals, finger paint, mud wrestle, or just do anything fun and silly that makes you feel more romantic and more alive. Take a pottery class together. Taking a pottery class with your boyfriend will be just as romantic as that one scene in Ghost except it'll be even better because you'll both be alive. You'll be getting your hands dirty learning something new, and creating something that you can bring home and put on your coffee table, however lopsided and misshaped it may be. Make a book of all of the emails you've written to each other. If you've spent a lot of time apart and have sent long emails to each other, or if you're just the kind of people who love sending each other emails, you should print out all of your sweet, funny, and romantic emails and put them in a book for your boyfriend. He'll read over all of your love notes and will remember all of the great times you've had and all of the memories you've shared. Give him thoughtful gifts. Don't just give your boyfriend a six-pack of his favorite beer and take him out to Pizza Hut. Put in an effort to figuring out what he really likes and cares about, and what gift would actually mean something to him, and what would surprise him and make him see that you've put an effort into the gift. When it comes to gifts, one size does not fit all, so try to get your boyfriend something personalized, special, and something he wouldn't think to get on his own. Remember that the best gifts are often given just because. Write him thoughtful notes. Not every not in person communication has to come through a computer or a phone. If you're going to be apart for a day or two, or even for a few hours, write him a sweet note telling him how much he means to you or how much you will miss him while you're apart. Just telling him to have a nice day and to let him know that you're thinking of him can make all the difference. Go on meaningful dates. Though you and your boyfriend can probably have fun no matter where you go, you should make an effort to plan some dates that are special and feel really romantic. This depends on what you and your boyfriend like and the kinds of things that make you happy together. 
If you suggest a date that would be perfect for your boyfriend, then he'll be impressed by how much thought and effort you are putting into the relationship. Do him favors that count. You may not think that doing your boyfriend's laundry on the week when he has a big exam coming up is very romantic, but he'll appreciate the gesture. Romance isn't all about the grand gestures, but about the little things that show your boyfriend that you really care about him and want to make him happy. Ideally, of course, you should both be doing each other favors, you should not turn into his errand girl to win him over. Take the time to understand his interests. This doesn't mean you have to tag along with him and his buddies to watch Monday Night Football. But it does mean that you should make an effort to see why he cares about football or whatever other interests mean nothing to you. See what's behind his love for soccer, fishing, historical non-fiction, comics, or whatever else makes him tick. Give your boyfriend affectionate touches. Sure. Most guys aren't known for their love of PDA or hand-holding, but you should still make an effort to give your boyfriend reassuring, loving touches from time to time so he knows that you care about him. Squeeze his hand at the movies, run your hand through his hair when you're waking up, give him a playful shove when you're teasing each other. You shouldn't be all over him all the time or he may get weary, just pick the right moments to touch him, at least a few times a day. Give him meaningful compliments. Don't just say, you're so hot or I really like you. Let him know what it is that makes him feel so special to you. Tell him he has a great smile, that you love his sense of humor, that you admire his work ethic, or that you think he's so good at knowing exactly how you're feeling. Make a point of finding something new you like about him every so often and let him know how you really feel. Show him affection when you're apart. If you're spending some time apart, whether it's a week or an entire summer, you should let him know you still care. This doesn't mean that you should call him 20 times a day to see what he's doing or to make sure he's not talking to other girls, it does mean that you should check in to let him know that you care and that you're thinking about him, at least once a day. Give him an unexpected six-second kiss at least once a day. Even if you are both tired, busy, or just not feeling affectionate, you should kiss each other at least once a day. Make the effort to give him just one six-second long kiss each day, and you'll be upping the romance factor in your relationship, and strengthening your bond as a couple. Don't just give him a routine peck on the lips or cheek before you have to leave, but pick an unexpected time to kiss him. Tell him why he's an amazing boyfriend. Don't forget to let him know exactly how much he means to you. Often, words are the best way to show affection. You can tell him in a monthly letter or tell him casually over dinner. Make a list of at least five things that make him an amazing boyfriend, and let him know exactly what these things are, so he really sees how much he means to you. Give him a massage. Giving your boyfriend a massage will not only kick up the sexiness factor in your relationship, but it will also be a great way of showing him affection and letting him see that you really care. If he comes back home after a long day or work or school, Make him sit down and give him a good shoulder massage. You can move to his neck, his biceps, and his lower back. Help him relax and get all of those pesky knots out of his back, and he'll be feeling your lovin' for a long time. Never stop the courtship. Even if you and your boyfriend have been together for years, you shouldn't look at the relationship as a perfect union that should stay exactly the same until the end of time. You should both be working to impress each other, to keep chasing each other, and to remind each other why your relationship is so great. Don't just fall into the same old dull routine because it's pretty good and has been working thus far, take your relationship to the next level by always trying new things and keeping it interesting. Tend to your looks. If you want to hold on to your boyfriend, then you can't let yourself go. Both of you should make sure you shower regularly get your hair in good shape, and dress nicely when you're hanging out together. You can wear sweatpants on Sundays, maybe, or on another designated vegging out day, but on the whole, you should dress up when you're together like you could appear in public, even if you're not leaving the house. Keep your bedroom in a sexy state. Whether you and your boyfriend are sleeping together or just hooking up, 
make sure you get together in a place that makes you feel romantic, not a dirty car or cluttered basement. If you can hook up in your bedroom, make sure that it's neat, clean, and that it feels like it's made just for you two to kiss each other. Don't hook up near textbooks or the piles of folders you brought home from work. When you're getting intimate in the bedroom, intimacy should be the only thing on your minds. Maintain your independence. If you want to keep your relationship feeling fresh, then you and your boyfriend have to spend some time apart. If you're always together, then you won't have as much to talk about, and you won't be able to miss each other or appreciate each other when you're apart. No matter how close you are, it's important to pursue your own interests and to hang out with your friends and families apart from each other from time to time. Do activities that raise your adrenaline together. If you and your boyfriend do something romantic together that gets your blood pumping and makes you feel good, you will be guaranteed to feel more sexy and romantic. This can take the form of any kind of exercise such as long walks, hiking, biking, running, yoga, ballroom dancing, or just going to the gym together.